Does your driveway need to be replaced? Are you contemplating whether or not to replace it with a paver brick driveway or with an asphalt driveway? So in this video, folks, we're going to show you how the professional contractors will rip up this driveway and replace it with a brand new paver brick driveway. We are going to show you the incredible transformation from this 28-year-old oil-stained ugly paver brick driveway to this stunning ritzy one-of-a-kind super rich looking paver brick driveway that nobody else in the county has now a lot of what you see here today is going to be in super high speed time lapse to make things go a lot quicker for you plus it's really cool to see how quickly a project develops when you're doing it in time lapse videography and we always call before we dig folks we always call 811 and they send a dude out with a truck and some spray paint and he spray paints all over the area where you're going to dig it tells you where there's underground lines cable the orange is cable the red is power if there was water it would be blue i believe gas would be yellow but that's what they do they mark up the entire area and it'll wash off after a few weeks of rain it'll get off the grass but it's important to know before you start digging so you don't cut power to the whole neighborhood and here is one last look at the old 28-year-old driveway before we dig it up. See how the perimeter brick shifted? This is how useless the builder was originally. They never cemented them in. There's more of the original oil stains that we couldn't get out. And here is a sample letter that we got from the Homeowners Association, which actually started the entire process rolling. Say goodbye to all these old oil stains, folks. Bye-bye now. Bye bye. One, two, three, bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks a lot. One last look at the sidewalk leading up to the front door. And then also, since we're widening the driveway by 12 inches on either side, we have to now move the sprinkler lines. So we've brought in our sprinkler folks, and they're doing the quick dig there, and they're moving everything over so that it's now going to be 12 inches further away than it was before. And we have to do this on both sides of the driveway. There, and we're testing it out. Sprinklers are looking fine, ready to go. Now they start at the bottom of the driveway with the bobcat and they just start scraping up all of the paper bricks. And they just loosen them up first. Pretty shocking here to see the old driveway disappearing rapidly before our eyes. These guys are fast. They're going to tear this whole thing up in about 30 minutes and they dump it all into a dump truck and he takes it away. And in a half hour, you'll never know that there was a paper brick driveway here before. Here he's starting to use a tamping machine and what they have to do is they have to go around and tamp it all down so that all of the sand is nicely packed because if it's not packed nice and dense this is when you start to see you know shifting bricks and uneven bricks later on down the road there so this is the most important step i think is compacting down all of that sand and making sure everything is perfectly clean and straight One of our favorite milestone moments is finally here, folks. The paver bricks just got delivered, and we're inspecting them right now, making sure everything is as ordered. Things are looking good, folks. The driveway came up in about a half hour. Tomorrow, we're gonna start laying the pavers, 
Things are going just really smooth. This is gonna be great. Houston, we have a problem. Hey, look, these things sometimes happen in projects, folks, and you have to be ready for it when it does. Sometimes what works in all the surrounding cities, occasionally you find one inspector in one city that has some OCD issue about something here. And here's what he complained about. He wrote in his remarks that all the pavers must be removed for the rough inspection. So since the demo crew with the Bobcat was removing the driveway, you don't want them driving up the little sidewalk right up to your door. They're gonna damage everything. So it's the install crew that normally removes all of those pavers by hand because the inspector wanted to be able to see that there was the right amount of sand and gravel underneath driveway and under the sidewalk as well. So the very next day, we sent out the crew to come in and remove the pavers. Then we called back the inspector and the inspector came back and gave us okay. Now we're ready to start. Here they are starting to cut out the big sweeping curve on the grass here so that you can see the final product, what it's going to look like. A beautiful sweeping sidewalk onto the paver brick driveway. Here you can see they're starting to rake into place now about a one inch thick layer of packing sand. But the bricks, the paver bricks for your paver brick driveway get laid down right on top of this sand. And here you can see he's walking around with the tamping machine. They're compacting it down basically and getting it nice and firm and even. And now here he's spraying it down with water. They want it nice and kind of firm where it's not going to blow away or drift around too much. Now he's packing it down on the perimeter with his bricks to match the level of the string that he's set up there. He wants these to be exactly perfectly. You don't want to see any ups and downs or dips. Oh, what do we got here? Hey, wait a minute. Let's check it out in slow motion. Let's see if he can catch that roach. Boom. Hey, wait a minute. That dude's got some life on him. Hold on. Let's get... Yeah, I think we got him. So you can see he's slowly scooping away the sand such that the bricks will be flush with the concrete gutter at the end of the driveway there. And they continue this process all the way around the entire perimeter of the installation of the paver brick driveway. Here you can see a nice power breakfast from Dunkin' Donuts. So there's the final sand right there. And now we're ready to start marking our chalk line. So he's got a speed square set up to mark the blue chalk line on the sand. And he's gonna pluck it three times coming up right here. Here you go. So now he has his blue line, 45 degree angle, going across the sand. And this is the most crucial step of the entire paver brick driveway installation right here, installing that very first brick at the correct 45 degree angle. It is the cornerstone from which every other paver brick on the entire driveway here will be set off of. So if you get this one wrong, they will all be wrong. Now notice here how both of these blue 45 degree lines exit the paver brick exactly at the corners. Very important to notice that. Okay, now here you can see with two assistants helping him, they're going to hand him the exact bricks that he needs for each little section that he's going to lay down. And you can see here, they're starting a, what, what I call a perfect choreography. It's like a dance choreography of a perfect rhythm where he is uninterrupted just placing the paver bricks right onto the sand. This enables him to keep going without stopping. Now we're going to speed it up for you to show you how they move as they go across the driveway. This is the result of the first 31 minutes of work since the first paver was laid. Shocking how fast they are moving, isn't it?
We have now installed all of the whole paver bricks in the field portion of the driveway. Now that all of the whole paver bricks have been set onto the driveway, he now takes his chalk line and he's going to start to make the lines for all of the perimeter tiles. So now with the diamond saw, he's cutting through all of these concrete pavers and he's making way for all of the perimeter bricks that are going to fill in that channel there where he is sawing off the part of the existing paver bricks that he doesn't need because he's trying to form a square channel there to hold all of these other paver bricks that will make up the perimeter. You can see they have not let up with that choreography yet, folks, and it has served them well. They've always got a stack of bricks right where he needs to land them into the slots there, and it helps him get very quickly around the driveway with them. Once again, with the experience and skill, they pretty much just eyeball and draw their scribe marks on the bricks before they cut them to go around these 45 degree corners. And he hands them off to the assistant who cuts them, then he takes the pieces and he puts them right into place. So they very quickly work their way around these really tough corners and angles and cuts and everything just fits together so perfectly.
Now they are completing the installation of all of the paver bricks that lead up from the driveway on the sidewalk right up to the front door in the porch area. Right in front of the front door, you can see they are continuing on with the course of the perimeter bricks. So they're snapping another line so they can make all of these cuts to cut that perfect channel to hold all of those bricks. Here you can see he's lining them up. This part here, you can see they are mixing up the mortar mix to solidify and hold down these perimeter bricks. I wish the original builder of my house had done this correctly when they installed the original brick driveway. Here is where the home remodeling DIYers and your weekend warriors tend to get it wrong. Because everybody thinks when you're going around a curve, you just line them the bricks up, but that's not true. You have to cut them in a wedge shape. And that's what they're doing here. They're stopping and they're cutting them individually. They're checking them to make sure they fit perfectly around this curve. So when they're done, you're going to see a beautiful sweeping curve on these bricks. Now here I highly suggest that you go with the polymeric sand because what it does is when it gets wet and solidifies it blocks the channels so that ants and weeds will have a hard time growing up through them. Now they are using a plate compactor machine and they're driving it around all over the driveway and the sidewalk to vibrate all of the bricks to shake all of the sand down into the channels and this is an important part that many people leave out. They think that you can just dump the sand and sweep it into place but that's not true. You have to use a vibration type machine to make sure that all of the sand gets down there. Otherwise you're going to find out later that when it rains maybe it sinks down a little more and leaves a bunch of open gaps. You can see some gaps in the foreground here on the sidewalk that they will come back with later with additional sand and sweep it in there. Now you can see they're brushing it around there, they're hosing it off, and you can only hose off so much. You don't want to keep on hosing it because you're just going to scoop out the sand out of the cracks. Now we're not done yet folks. Remember before we start celebrating we have to seal this driveway as well. And there's also a few bricks to repair that we noticed a day or two later. So after admiring our driveway here and doing a full inspection we found about a half a dozen paver bricks that had cracked so the repair crew then shows up with a interesting tool. Here it is. This is really cool. So they use this to help do their repair and to pull up these large paver bricks, which would be impossible for you to pull up by hand. That's a pretty cool tool, man. I gotta get me one of them.
Days later, when the other team shows up to do the sealing of the driveway, they first clean it with the whirly bird there that you saw. And uh, they were using hot water and they're steam cleaning it off pretty nicely. They're going around and making sure the bricks are perfectly clean before they apply this sealer. Now, the sealer that they are using here for this project is the Surface Logix Cobble Lock. And they chose this because the manufacturer claims that Cobble Lock has excellent resistance to brake fluid, gasoline, bleach, and to acids. Here for best results, you see they started applying it with the sprayer and you apply it just thick enough for it to start to look a little bit milky. And once the first coat dries, they'll come back into the second coat. Now they usually tell you to wait between two and four hours on this particular product, but you know, most production companies, they're not going to wait around for two or four hours. They'll wait maybe a half hour and if it looks dry enough, they'll put the second coating on and it usually does okay. Now here you need to really do your research people because it's so important to know whether you're getting a water-based sealer or a solvent-based sealer. Now the bad thing about here in Florida where it's very humid, most people should not be using the continuous film solvent based sealers because they're so thick and glossy which first of all i don't even think you should be doing that thick glossy look anyway on paver bricks because it's not very natural but what happens with this is when it rains the water soaks up the bricks from underneath and it gets trapped under that layer of your sealant and most people get ten thousand dollar driveways totally ruined by this clammy white goo that they can't get off the driveway and companies have to come and really scrub down those bricks and charge like a couple of thousand dollars to recover your driveway and i'll tell you something else folks nobody else in the county has this type of driveway hey so what do you think about this beautiful widened sweeping sidewalk that we added so check this out folks we finally had the driveway sealed three days ago. We can finally park on it now. This is what we call a wet semi-gloss coating on it. It's a water-based sealant. Even though this is a wet semi-gloss coating, it really looks more like a satin coating to me. This paver brick driveway installation was so beautiful that people who are driving by in their cars will stop and get out and knock on the door and ask where we got it. And even neighbors from up the street during their walks will stop us and ask us who did the installation for us. This paver brick driveway is such a beautiful backdrop that we've already used it successfully on several of our tool review videos in the last few months. Hey everybody, Jeff here, and in this tool review video, we are evaluating for you today. Hey, with all of these great tool deals floating around out there. Hey everybody, Jeff here. You're looking at the brand new Craftsman Pro System Tower. And here is some bonus video content for you folks. This right here is a $1 million commercial paver brick parking lot project that the contractor did up in Boca Raton just before they came to do our project. So it's pretty good to see a giant sized project as well. We hope you found this paver brick driveway installation video useful. And if you did, hey, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click on that subscribe button and turn on the alert so you'll be alerted whenever we upload more of these world-class videos. Thanks for joining us today, folks, and we'll see you on the next one.